Hi, my name is Keval Tumaria and this is a quick tutorial on how to install Android operating system on your PC. Let's begin. Now before I begin, uh, I would want you to download two things, two softwares I mean. One of which is uh, VirtualBox by Oracle and uh, the other file is uh, the ISO file or the disk image for Android OS. Right, so let's begin with the virtual box. You can always uh, download virtual box. It's, it's a free software, free to use from virtualbox.org and this is the official website and um, you can download from the download section or you, you might want to just have a look at the screenshots before buying uh, before downloading it um, I'm using 64-bit machine so uh, that's the one for me for normal users it's uh, Intel Max uh, the, this one is for the normal users and of course the Linux edition and uh, secondly I would want you to download the Android ISO file which is available at uh, code.google.com forward slash p forward slash live android.com sorry that's just live android forward slash and there you go this is the download link from where you can select uh, the ISO or the way by which you wish to download live with torrent or um, the split images I, 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 I sincerely prefer torrent and uh, the guys who are using torrent please see the ISO thank you once you extract the file or download the torrent you will see a file somewhat like this if you are using Windows 7 right so let's begin I'll quickly switch on my virtual box and uh, I'll click on new next name would be Android OS or whatever your name is you can always use it now this is a Linux this is uh, not Linux exactly but it's it's based on Linux it has a Linux kernel in it 256 MB yeah that's right it should be fine because we are talking about the mobile software not the actual um, machine the, the computer operating system this is a mobile phone operating system and uh, I've already created the an Android OS um, the hard drive okay I'll, I'll quickly show you how to do it you just need to click on uh, create new hard disk click on next click on next fixed storage uh, you have to de define the size here I believe 2 GB is really fine and uh, oops okay I already have it so okay once you click on next it will um, uh, create the uh, hard disk the virtual hard disk for you click on finish that's it now the first thing that we have to do is we have to mount this ISO file on the machine I mean on the virtual machine so this is how we do it first I'll go to um, the settings did you see that yeah you have to click on settings and then uh, you might want to click on storage this is the hard drive that will be used for uh, Android OS and uh, it shows empty because I haven't mounted anything yet so I'll just click on open to click on add the location the location where I have uh, saved my ISO file is on the desktop so I'll select here I'll click on open once I find it here select it and uh, one more thing that I want you to do is uncheck this enable uh, absolute pointing devices yes I want you to disable it All right and I'll click on OK once it's done let's begin okay it's not really rocket science to do it 
okay 800 by 600 should be fine because it's a mobile software does not uh, reports that yes it does not support no problem It's live Android now the reason why we have unchecked this because Android doesn't come with the inbuilt pointing device it, it it relies on your touch the touch screen just like how we have here I'll just click on capture I'll click here there you go that's your Android ISO um, operating system Wow let's have a look at the browser Wow, it looks better than the Firefox actually. Let me check if I can play YouTube songs. Okay, it's showing me the mobile editions. Click on play. Might temporarily be down or maybe move to new address. No problem. Never mind. Oops. Okay, now how to get out of this software will be by pressing the escape key on your keyboard. You just press the escape key and you come back, come out of that. Um, I mean, it's it's just like going back, going backwards. You can play around with all these um, fancy looking um, softwares. Wow. It's really nice. Press hit the right control on your keyboard to get your original uh, computer mouse back. And I'll just turn off this part of the machine for this. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. Goodbye.